three streets before Grenfell, before the tower. Um, you can see the tower uh, glowing a light from the outside. We're all like in disbelief of a building burning that way. You know, you, on all the fires I've been to in 26 years, I've never seen the outside of a building burn as, as much as this one was. More than 250 firefighters were dispatched to Grenfell Tower on the night of the disaster. Among them, Aldo Diana. It was to be one of his final call-outs before his retirement after nearly three decades. I didn't feel the heat. The heat wasn't something that was affecting us. Uh, I think it's because of the stair, because of the stairs you're climbing, uh, and with the the set on your back, you're getting tired. Adrenaline's flowing, and you know you've got you know you've got a certain task to do, and, and you just carry on that task. And I think you, for us, until the air runs out, we would carry on. I stepped on what I thought was hose, but it was uh, a casualty. And once I stepped on this person, uh, there was a cough and we both knelt down to have a look to see what it was. Um, and we discovered it was a person, but it wasn't just one, there was two, pers two people lying together. They'd obviously been overcome by smoke inhalation and collapsed. We decided that because one coughed, we would carry them both out and hopefully they will both survive. And I've been told uh, since then that they have both survived. So that was the main yeah. entrance and then the staircase is going up here. Aldo rescued seven others and for seven hours he and his crew battled the smoke and the debris. Inside it's like um, devastation. It's like, like your, your normal bonfire. So you go into a normal bonfire, after a few hours it's all, uh, all collapsed down and it's just rubble and fire burning. Uh, and that's what it was like inside. Everything was, was burnt on some of the floors. But then when you looked out through the window, you had green trees. It just looked like a normal, beautiful day. There are now questions, of course, about whether residents should have been advised to abandon their flats much earlier. How hard is it at the moment to hear possible criticism of the London Fire Brigade? Uh, the criticism hurts, really, because I know that everybody from the commissioner down to the firefighters did what they could on that night. We all worked hard. But when you look at that building, the way it burns, to ask somebody to go into that building, that's, that's quite a tough ask. It was the night Aldo and his colleagues had spent years preparing for. But in reality, what can prepare you? Julian Drucker, Five News.